Uh, Lutaro Martinez, great striker and great second striker to uh, Lukaku as well. Straight to Martinez again, a little bit of pace. Nice goal for him. All right. Here we are again. Oh, bad pass. Straight to Lutaro Martinez. He has the pace. No one's catching him. Yeah. What a goal. What a goal. All right, Hakimi. Straight over the top to Pinamonte. <laughs> oh, he got his hands to it, but it wasn't enough. All right, Pogba. Still Pogba. Oh, nice. Greenwood on that right-hand side. Inside forward. Little dink. Lovely. Rashford, the pace on that left-hand side, back to Pogba, advanced playmaker, to Cavani, Rashford again. Oh, Greenwood, no one was watching him. He ran on from the inside. That is what an inside forward does. Burton, nah, Erdley, Armitage, Erdley again. Wallace, where's he going to go? Straight over the top, straight to Ennis. Oh, on the volley, on the volley. Lovely goal. Henry, Norsgaard. Straight through the middle on the right-hand side. Yep, straight to Mbimo. Where's he going? Oh, block. Tony. Oh, lovely pass to Silva. De Silva is the left-back. That is the reason why you have underlapping left-backs as the inverted wing-backs. Nice one uh, for him. Right, guys. This is the York Alona 4-2-3-1 tactic. Stay tuned for the video for all of the instructions and results of the test. Nice goal. <laughs>Right then, guys, this is the tactic. So if you did download it, all right, it's called the Your Cologne, but it will come up as the positive 4231 wide custom, uh, full name, custom AP16-01. So, uh, yeah, that is the tactic. If you want to download it, this is one of the only tactics or first tactics that I've actually got that doesn't really have a download link. It's, um, it's linked on my Discord. So if you want it, you're going to have to go to the Discord to download it, or you can just follow all of the manual instructions and do it that way. But regardless, the Discord link is in the description if you want to go there, and it will be in the uh, Upload Tactics section. It will be pinned at the top, and if you know a little bit about Discord, then you know how to do it and get there. You just click it, boom, downloaded, and uh, it will come up as that positive 4231. So, yes, this is the tactic, and it was mentioned to me it is more suited to more elite-ish, Topish kinds of teams. Uh, so that's what I'm testing it with. All right, so you've got Brentford, who are pretty much an all right top team in the championship. Inter, definitely top team in uh, Italy. Manchester United in the Premier League, again, another top team. And then sometimes you can't always have top teams. So I've gone to the lower leagues, Burton. All right, they are predicted 15th in the league. And uh, I'm going to try them as well in this test. So yeah, let's get on with the instructions of the tactics. So advanced forward. Inverted winger left, inverted inside forward right, Attack, uh, advanced playmaker, the Mozilla, deep line playmaker, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and the sweeper keeper set piece instructions corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and as you can see by the taker, it's near post. On both sides and then free kicks defending right and left and attacking left and right everything looks pretty standard the taker is a mixed uh, free kick taker small chance of shot right and left also mixed indirect wide left and right mixed and then indirect deep right right and left and also mixed when taking the free kicks and finally throwing instructions is a defending right and left and attacking left and right and obviously drone instruction is also mixed so that is the individuals and the set pieces positive mentality in possession a fairly narrow attacking width and i've seen this tactic played with this tactic he did mention to me obviously that uh it's called your Colonna because he created it for his york team over the years obviously the tweaking and the tinkering um so, so i don't think it's m as much as a plug and play it's a build tweak and build i mean so you you download it fit it to your team, tweak it, let him know in the Discord as well, because it's part of the Discord. And uh, yeah, ask him questions, get a little bit more information, improve it if you can. 
And uh, yeah, share it about everyone. That's what it's all about. That's what Football Manager Tactics is about. All right, you download it, you tweak it, uh, create more, create better, improve it. Uh, let everyone else know. Sharing the glory, sharing the success. So uh, yeah, in possession. Anyway, fairly narrow attacking width with passing space. Uh, un underlap. You don't know. You don't necessarily see that underlapping left and right with play out defence, and it's good as well because the underlapping sometimes allows the inverted wing backs to come into the central of the park when it's in the final third, and they're acting like an attacking midfielder there. And there's some, been some good goals as well by the inverted wing backs because they are in that position. Um, passing directness is shorter with an extremely high tempo. Uh, final third is low crosses, work ball into box, run at defence and be more expressive. In transition, counter press and counter and your goalkeeper's instructions are to distribute to the fullbacks and throw it long. And out of possession, you're looking at using the offside trap, much higher line of engagement with a high defensive line. Force opposition outside, so it's the old narrow system. Use tighter marking, extremely urgent press intensity would prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And the get stuck in instruction is on. So um, yeah, that's the instructions for the tactic. So this is the supposed best 11 for Brentford. Inter. Manchester United, and finally, Burton. Burton. All right, so I'll see you at the end of the season, guys, for all of the results and uh, all the numbers. Right then, guys, end of the season. So let's start off with uh, Brentford first. They are top of the list. They are in the championship, and they came second. They are predicted third, so it's still an improvement. Coming second, one point above Watford, but 11 points behind Norwich. Norwich had a storm in season. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, there's only two players in your whole team that got in the top three rankings. Average rating was Godos, came third with 7.34, and assists was also Godos with 22. 22 assists, absolutely incredible uh, for him. His main position was uh, he actually played 35 apps as an attacking center, 12 as the attacking left, and did very well in both, but yeah. Attacking centre, 22 assists for him. What a guy. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, competitions then for Brentford. So uh, English FA Cup fifth round, knocked out by Tottenham. You can't blame him for that. Got all the way to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, knocked out by Liverpool, and the score was 6-2. So you got a thrashing by Liverpool, kind of expected. But you got pretty far in the uh, competition schedule then. Let's have a look at some of the results uh, using this tactic. So 7-3, uh, Southampton. Awesome result. Southampton are a Premier League team. And to get seven goals against them being a league lower is uh, great. Another big result, Luton, 6-0, 5-0 against Wickham. 6-1, uh, Cardiff, 5-0, Bournemouth. Yeah. The results and the capabilities of the tactic are definitely shown with some of these score lines. 6-1 uh, Millwall, Preston, Birmingham, five goals apiece. It's a lot of goals that um, Brentford have scored. So, yeah, well done there. Squad best player was uh, Godos. We've already seen that. He is on loan from um, Amiens SC. Is that Amiens? I'm guessing I'm saying that wrong. I always do. <laughs> Uh, 12 goals and 26 assists in all competitions. Incredible. Biggest goal scorers, Ivan Tony, Force and Canos, uh, Goss and then Bima, all getting double digits or more. But the uh, biggest goal scorer was Tony because he was the out-and-out -out striker. And biggest creators were seeing Goss and he got Marcondes, uh, 13, Norsgaard and Jensen, 10 and 11. So double digits for them. Team report, then analyst report. On a whole, you can see it. The general performance is far outperforming the Scarbet Championship average. All right, doing very well there. Scoring, attacking, efficiency, you are aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, um, you're quiet and leaky, which is a shame, but you're very low. You're not getting a lot of shots against you. Um, so obviously it's working on the averages. You're not getting a lot of shots, but they're going in. Obviously it will push it that way. But yeah, fairly good. It would have been nice to get in quiet and impenetrable, but it happens. All right, testing tactics, uh, this kind of thing happens. Don't forget about the random number generator, guys. The, the brain, the brain of the AI uh, sometimes just goes against you and it happens to the best of us. Um, so yeah, pretty good going for Brentford. At the end of the day, promotion is what you want and promotion is what they got. Um, so next up then, let's go to... Inter Milan in the Italian Serie A. Ah, this is Italy. They came first. 96 points. Far, 
far surpassed uh, Juventus or Zebri, however you want to. Uh, go by it but uh, yeah incredible all right 78 goal difference only lost two games this is definitely a tactic for the higher teams um, i have been talking to mike himself the creator and he uh, obviously built this tactic over a few years or a few seasons with his team york and um, yeah it's definitely one that he wants and he spoke to me about pulling out on your team tweaking it to fit your players it's it's a player orientated kind of tactic so Obviously, on that left-hand side, you've got the uh, inverted winger. And then on the right-hand side, you've got the inside forward. So, yeah, just make it, make it suit. Um, don't think it's going to be an absolute godsend on every team. Right, you've got to work for it. You've got to be a manager. Be a manager. Tweak. Make it better. Let us know in the Discord. Let us know in the comments. I'm sure Mike will get back to you uh, and be very grateful about it as well. So, back to the tactic. Lukaku was the main man. The big boy up front. 37 league goals came first on average rate of 7.51 with Kolarov after him with 7.38. Ericsson with the assists with 14 and Lukaku a player of the matches with a 12 and then you got Handanovic as the goalkeeper fit into 19 clean sheets. It went perfect for Inter Milan competitions. Uh, European Champions Cup knocked out the group stages. Oh dear. Again. It happens, guys. It happens. Italian Cup runner up and in the final, they lost against Juventus 3 2. But Lukaku was the highest scorer in the competition. Uh, so, yeah, no silverware except the uh, league win. Schedule some results. Got to be some big results now. Surely, yeah, massive team, big players. Lukaku up front, Lazio 5 3, uh, Juventus 3 0. Yeah, 3 1, 4-0. Where's the big one? The big result I'm looking for, 6 0. There we go. Nice one there. 3-1 Roma. Uh, Benevento 4-1. So, yeah, the results are there. Again, definitely. Uh, started off a little, I would say a little shakily, but that's in the Champions Cup. So, it's a shame, really, because that is a brilliant, brilliant Champions uh, Cup group. You've got Dortmund, Marseille, Liverpool, and you. What a group that is, and unfortunately... Uh, lost against quite a few of them as well. Dortmund, you lost. Liverpool, you lost. So it's not, it's not a uh, bulletproof vest. I'm, uh, I'm afraid with this tactic. Uh, you gotta, I've said before, you work on it, you tweak it, you make it yours, you make it better. Uh, you let us know in the comments. So uh, yeah, let's go to the squad. Then best player was obviously Lukaku. 44 league goals. The out and out striker did fantastic. Seven assists for him and the uh, other big scorers. As no one else got double digits. All right, your centre-back got eight goals. Perisic, eight, seven for Vidal. And then assists, biggest creators, Eriksen, Hakimi and Barella, 10, 10 and 17 for Eriksen. Nice one is the uh, advanced playmaker in the centre. Uh, no doubt he was taking some set pieces as well, so that definitely would have contributed. And then team report, on a whole, once again, you're doing pretty well. Uh, scoring, attacking efficiency, right up here, look, aggressive and clinical. And then if we go to conceding, um, we are right down in this bottom left-hand corner, quiet and impenetrable. And if you look on the full stats, 122 goals, surprisingly, not a lot. Only 48 conceded, which is pretty good. And then in the league, it was 107. You are the best, and you only conceded 29. Again, you are the best. I'm going to quickly go to Brentford because I missed out the stats on here. 144 goals for Brentford, 66 conceded. A little bit on the higher side, maybe a little bit. Um, double-edged sword and I did notice in some of the highlights that I checked out some of the gameplay that I played um, when your inverted wingers are getting forward on the final third they're underlapping they're coming forward they're getting in there uh, with the rest of them if they get the ball back and if they can to quickly you have got massive gaps on that left and right hand side and uh, yeah the reason why this was a topish team kind of tactic is that you need those players um, to be able to handle that to get back quick to be able to stay composed and defend uh, when needed so um, yeah that's that reason. So, next team, Manchester United came second in the Premier League. Oh, such a shame. They were two points behind Arsenal, who came first. And yeah, if they got those two points, they would have won because the goal difference is the highest in the league. Uh, Martial came second on goals of 21. Telesh, left back, came third of average rating 7.42. Assists, Bruno Fernandes, the main man of Manchester United, got 15 assists, came first there. And no other players are in the competitions. Uh, in the top three, sorry, competitions. European Champions Cup got knocked out by Bayern Munich in the first round. English FA Cup, though, 
you're the winner. You got some silverware. You beat Arsenal in the final 4-3. In the Carabao Cup, you were knocked out by Arsenal in the fourth round. So at least you got some silverware. Second is a respectable position to be in for Manchester United. They uh, did pretty well. Don't get me wrong. I've done tactics before and they've done very well. They've come first. But second is equally, um, well, not equally. You won't say equally. It's first and second. It's different, obviously. <laughs> um, it's good. It's good. It's still good at the end of the day. Uh, normally, you would actually see Liverpool or Man City first. So I'm actually very surprised that Arsenal are first. Because sometimes a lot of testing that I do, they always struggle. So, uh, yeah, it's surprising to see Arsenal, to be fair. Uh, schedule, then. Let's have a look at some of the results. Uh, friendlies, we don't really count them. Uh, Liverpool lost against them 5-3. Second second game of the season though. Sheffield United 8-0. 8-0. Leicester 5-0. Uh, Newcastle 4-1. Leipzig 4-1. Uh, Wolves 4-0. Everton 6-1. And then we've got Juventus beat them 2-0 down here. Tottenham 4-0. 6-0 against Leeds. So again, you've got the results. What an end. What an end to the season. March, April, May unbeaten. Nice one there. So yeah. Good results, uh, very, if, if only that form at the end of the season was uh, was at the start of the season. Yeah, definitely would have won the league, wouldn't you? Definitely. Uh, squad then, so best player was uh, Teles. In all competitions, your left back, five goals and seven assists, played 7.37. Biggest goal scorer is Martial, Fernandez, Greenwood, Cavani, Rashford, Pogba. A lot of players chipping in with the goals here. Um, all getting double digits. Obviously, your biggest goal scorer was Martial. He was your main striker at the time. And then uh, biggest creators, Fernandez, Pogba, Van Der Beek, Rashford. All getting double digits there. And Bruno Fernandez, obviously getting the most because he most likely took all of the uh, set pieces as well. And he played as the advanced playmaker uh, in the tactics. So, uh, well done to him. Uh, tactics or team report for the tactics. Analyst report on a whole. Again, you're doing pretty good. Shots per game, goals per game, all above the Premier League averages. Uh, scoring or attacking efficiency, you are in the aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, you are in the quiet and impenetrable. So it's where you want to be. Full stats, 128 goals and 46 conceded. And if you go to the league, we scored 99 league goals, which was the best, and 32 were conceded, which was actually the fifth best. Well, 32 goals isn't actually a lot, and to be the fifth best... Um, so, uh, yeah, some other teams did very well defensively. Now, finally, I said that I would always include an underdog, and one is Burton. They are predicted 15th in their league. How did they do? Ooh. Ooh. They came first. All right, that's awesome for Burton. Well done. Let's just go here and here. Uh, yeah, so well done to Burton. They only lost six games. Being the underdog, uh, 15th, pretty, pretty much mid to low team. That's incredible. All right, 104 points as well. Uh, Neil Ennis or Niall Ennis uh, came first with 30 goals. And, uh, then you've got Powell, Erdley and Atkins all getting first, second and third on the assists. 15, 13 and 12. And uh, no other players there. So fantastic for Burton. Uh, competitions, Carabao Cup. They went out in the third round against Fleetwood. First round of the English FA Cup against Akron Accrington Stanley. And then Papa John's Trophy, you got knocked out there by the Brighton over Albion under 23s. So, uh, yeah, no silverware. But it's not about silverware when you're in the lower leagues. It's about the promotion. Uh, yeah, you got all the, you got to the uh, championship next season. Hopefully work hard. And in a few seasons, you'll be in the uh, Premier League. So um, let's have a look at the squad then. Best player was Powell. Uh, nine goals, 18 assists. And the biggest goal scorers was Ennis, Atkins, and uh, Vasilev. Uh, and then Lawless, 11, 11, 17, and 32. Biggest creators in team, Powell, Erdley, Atkins, Quinn, all getting double digits there. Schedule, let's have a look at some of the results. Did you play any big boys? Did you beat any giants? So, um, Fulham under 23s, you probably wouldn't count them. Uh, you played no one big in the friendlies, but you got some big results, 9-0, 8-0. And then if we look through the league, 4-1, uh, Blackpool, nice result, Plymouth, 3-0. And you got Hull, 4-1, Northampton, Charlton, 3-0 on them too. 6-3 against MK Dons, great result there. Shrewsbury, 6-4. So yeah, you didn't play anyone massive, anyone in the Cups that, that you could have uh, caused an upset. But there's some great results anyway. And uh, yeah... So nice one, Burton. Came first and are getting promoted. The team report, on a whole, 
that's not too bad. Obviously, you conceded per game. Obviously, there's a sharp decline to the rest of the teams, but you are still on the top ends of the averages. And for an underdog team, that's where you want to be. That's perfect. Um, attacking efficiency, you are straight at the top. Look, aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, you are uh, quiet and leaky. Kind of expected. All right, I'm happy with that because you are an underdog. You've got to expect that your players aren't uh, to the quality as the other players in the league as a whole. Obviously, you can't even count Premier League. But as a whole, in League One, you are predicted 15th for a reason. It goes on quality of the team, all that. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a pretty uh, all right. Quiet and leaky. Not bad. Um, so, yeah, overall stats. 128 goals and 74 conceded. That's quite a lot. Um, obviously, you, you did well with your scoring, and that's what's uh, taking you up the table. Um, but, yeah, you might want to work on that. Definitely with Burton, 74. Um, might, might explain why this tactic is uh, for the more top teams, more elite teams. Uh, but they did well, all right? It shows that it can work for the underdogs. Maybe some slight tweaking at the back, lower that conceding. Um, but yeah, well done to the uh, your Kelowna tactic um, by Mike, all right? It's on the Discord, I've already said. And uh, this is it. So um, yeah, Hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Hopefully if you do download it, you do let us know how you get on. Um, if you go onto the Discord, obviously it'll be on the uploaded tactics section at the top in the pin. Uh, and let us know on the Discord, on the uh, on the channel as well, in the comments. And hopefully if it does do well, you can let everyone else know. The, they can make the same adjustments, talk about it, chat about it. And I'm sure Mike will be uh, eager, eager to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, as well so um yeah i'm tucker jobs this is tactic testing thanks a lot for watching uh, good luck on your saves and i'll see you when i see you bye